John's Epistle to Gaius, the truth 3 John 1, the elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. The elder, John was called the elder, and it was not mainly because of his age, it was mostly because of his position of leadership as an apostle. Elders, however, are not young men. The well-beloved, Mark 12 verse 6 having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, they will reverence my son. In Romans 16 verse 5, we see the only other time the word well-beloved is used. It is spoken of Epionatus, who was the first grace believer in the region of Achaia. Corinth is in Achaia. Gaius, the name Gaius is mentioned five times in scriptures, twice in Acts 19-20, Romans, and 1 Corinthians. Gaius was from Derb in Macedonia. The question is, are all five references found in scripture referring to the same individual? I believe there are two Gaius mentioned in the Bible, one who was Paul's companion in grace, and the other mentioned here, who was a partner with the twelve apostles in the kingdom program. Gaius was led to the Lord by Paul and he baptized him in Corinth. He let Paul stay with him while Paul wrote the book of Romans. He is mentioned as being from Macedonia in Romans 16 verse 23. The Gaius in this epistle, however, is working with the circumcision believers, not the grace believers, which is why John, an apostle of the circumcision, is writing to him to advise him, whom I love in the truth, the truth is that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. That is what all of the circumcision believers had to believe in order to enter into their kingdom. This Peter learned from Christ as he responded to a question asked of him by Jesus. Matthew 16 verses 13 to 18, when Jesus came into the coasts of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I the Son of Man am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some, Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 3 John 2 Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Beloved, Gaius was also called the well-beloved in verse 1. It was John's wish that Gaius prosper as much physically as he had already prospered spiritually. John mentioned that he loved Gaius in the truth. The world knows nothing of the love that John talks about here. John prays for Gaius' health, and for his finances to prosper as well as his soul has prospered. John could not heal him at this point as Israel's kingdom signs were coming, or already had come to an end by this late time. 3 John 3-4 For I rejoiced greatly, when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. The brethren came, who are the brethren that came and testified of the truth that was in Gaius? Other Jewish kingdom believers. John tells us here that he is glad that Gaius was walking in the truth. This helps us to discover that there had to be more than one Gaius mentioned in the Bible. Not only was he trusting that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God, but he was walking in the truth that we learned about in John's epistles. Gaius was faithful to the word of God as it proceeded forth out of the mouth of John and the other apostles to the nation of Israel. John was Gaius' father in the faith, just as Paul was to the Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 4 verses 14 to 16, I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons I warn you. For though ye have ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. Wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me. 3 John 5 to 6 Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren, and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church whom if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well. Thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren, and to strangers. The brethren was a reference to the Jews, while the strangers was a reference to the kingdom saints scattered abroad as mentioned in Acts 8 verse 1 surrounding the persecution that arose concerning Stephen. Whom if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well. John was requesting Gaius to help those whom he sent there financially, so that they could continue ministering to others. 3 John 7-8, Because that for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such, that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. For his name's sake, Jesus' name's sake, taking nothing of the Gentiles, believers should have charity one to the other. John was encouraging Gaius and the brethren there to help those that were ministering as they were on their journey, as it would help them reach others. 3 John 9 I wrote unto the church, 
but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. I wrote unto the church, John tried to write Gaius Church, but those he sent the letter with were not received by one of its members. Diotrephes, Satan sent someone with a loud mouth to intimidate the meeker members of the church into doing what he wanted. Diotrephes opposed God because he was opposing God's man, the Apostle John, and he would not allow one of the twelve apostles to edify their church. 3 John 10 Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content therewith, neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Prating against us with malicious words. The word prating means to talk foolishly against someone. Malicious means that he was intending to do harm to John and the brethren with his words, to maintain his control over the members of Gaius Church. 3 John 11 Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. John tells his readers, especially those under Diotrophs' ministry to not follow that, or him, that is evil, but follow that which is good. In the next verse, he tells them of someone that is a good person for them to follow, Demetrius. 3 John 12 Demetrius hath good report of all men, and of the truth itself, yeah, and we also bear record, and ye know that our record is true. Demetrius hath a good report of all men, this is a requirement for anyone to be a leader in a church, which disqualified Diotrephes from the position he held. And of the truth itself, this could not be said of Diotrephes, that he was of the truth sadly. He no doubt believed that Jesus was the Christ, but he did not abide in the truth as John and Gowies were. Under Israel's program, a circumcision believer had to abide in the truth, which is what is found in the Gospels and early Acts, along with the Hebrew epistles, Hebrews through Revelation. Diotrephes departed from the truth. Under Israel's program, there were eternal consequences for doing that. We, in the church which is Christ's body today, are eternally sealed until the day of redemption and can never lose our salvation. This was not so for the circumcision believers. 3 John 13-14 I had many things to write, but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee, but I trust one shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee. Our friends salute thee. Greet the friends by name. John said what needed to be said for the time being. Some things were better left unsaid, until they could say them in person. John wasn't going to tip off diatrephs any more than he had.